Today, I'm building a secret gaming setup under my stairs. And here's my plan to do it. So we've been using this space as literally a closet for the last like three years. So the first step is to just clear this out. This is not a big space. So first, we need to make it look cool. Right now, it's dark and really ugly, and you can literally see the bottom of the stairs. So we're gonna fix that. So I got this fluff and these customizable RGB lights to make those super popular cloud ceilings I've seen all over TikTok. Next on the list is a place to sit, and I think a bean bag is probably gonna work the best. Now that's not going to leave us much room and I don't want to be looking down at a monitor. So what I have here are these augmented reality glasses. These let you see the real world but put a screen anywhere you want and they're called the Rayneo Air 2s who was nice enough to sponsor this video. So these will actually virtually project a screen as big as 201 inches with a 120 hertz refresh rate and that's definitely going to be useful when I'm catching some dubs. Now I could just use these glasses with like my phone or my laptop but my favorite console to pair these with is my switch which they actually made a portable dock for so I'll connect this dock to my glasses and then to finish the room we need a few more accessories like a place to hang my controllers and hold snacks as well as maybe a little more decoration so now that I have the plan let's make this secret gaming room under my stairs happen first up are the cloud lights and we're gonna start here with these LED lights LED lights are up, bro. That already looks crazy. Bro, I could literally just leave it like this. Look how sick that is right It's actually gonna look so much crazier when I get these clouds in here. Bro, this looks insane. So after an hour and a half, this is the final result. I mean, look how sick that is, bro. It literally goes all the way down. It looks like clouds with lightning or something. And look at this. This is actually gonna be the coolest gaming room. I mean, bro, with the different modes, holy, this looks so sick. And I'm completely closed off. This is fully under my stairs. It took forever, but this is actually so much cooler than I thought. Next up is the wall accessory. I can't put my beanbag in yet because it takes up too much room. So I got this board thing for my wall. I'm gonna be able to hang up like my controller. And even and some drinks and snacks. Now I'll be able to take these and hang up some of my controllers that I have. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Oh yeah, bro. That's the setup right there. Switch controller, PS5 controller, drinks, snacks, and a phone holder. And I did get one more thing for the wall. Oh, yes, sir. That definitely adds the perfect touch I needed for this space. You guys remember what this looked like when we started? Look how cool this looks now. Now I can finally drag in this massive bean bag. This thing is so heavy. Uh-oh, is it gonna fit? Getting a bean bag this big may have been a mistake. I mean, I could have gone for a smaller chair, but it still kind of works. I got my drink right here, my snacks right here, my gaming sign up behind me, and this beautiful ceiling. And this is my view on the other side. It's actually so sick. And of course, the way I'm actually gonna game is with my Switch connected to my AR glasses. So all I gotta do is get in here, shut my door, just pop these babies on, and the setup is officially complete. Oh bro, this is so sick. Using the Joy Dock is super easy. You just connect the glasses directly to the dock and it's ready. You don't need any extra chargers or adapters or literally anything because the dock can power the switch and glasses for hours on end. And the cooling power is also a big factor in the design by being lightweight and it attaches to the back of the switch. Now I actually need to get a win in the new OG Fortnite season with this. Oh, good kill bro, let's go. The cool thing about these glasses is they're one of the lowest cost and they're especially good if you game a lot on like the Switch or a laptop or even your phone. But like this setup I have here, I can literally take anywhere because the Joy Dock is powered by battery. So as long as I'm charged up, I can use these while traveling or even like outside if I wanted to touch some grass while I went. But to be honest, I think I prefer this room. Hey, I want some snacks. And you know how I said this is a secret game in your room? Well, I don't even need headphones because the glasses have built-in super linear speakers with a whisper mode for privacy. So only I can hear what's happening right now. Like imagine I'm just adding at the park catching dubs. Literally no one would know. Oh, bro, another snipe. These glasses make it like so easy to see people. It's like so big. Like I mentioned, the screen is showing 120 hertz, which is obviously amazing for games. So I'll actually be able to see 120 FPS on like a laptop or even the next gen console with these on. And even with the super high quality viewing experience, they still heavily prioritize eye care. Like these glasses feature low blue light and flicker free viewing, meaning you shouldn't get as many headaches and you can use these like right before bed with 
with the blue light filter. But these are also sick for just like watching stuff. The image itself is actually really impressive. It's a bright 600 nits OLED display. And these are also the first AR glasses that are able to adjust the screen color. So there's 10 levels of brightness adjustment options, which provides a really nice visual experience when playing games. You can have it as dark or as vibrant as you want. No way he just jumped right in. Bro, let's go, but these players are psychos. This guy's actually just spraying like crazy. No way he's in my box. So like right there, I just died. I could literally rage quit, sit right here, watch some sports or a movie or even just YouTube video. I mean, there really is a ton of ways to use these things. Oh, 70 beans and dead. Let's go. Uh-oh, this guy wanted a third party, a little 50. That was scary. Wait, zip on play. Oh. oh, what a shot, bro. That was crazy. Honestly, on like a chill day, I could probably go without taking them off. Like I could game right here. I could connect them to my phone and scroll some TikTok, watch some Twitch stream. And even if I wanted to get some work done, I could connect them to my laptop and have a full 3D office space to plan some video. It actually sounds like kind of an awesome day. I might try that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, bro. Wow, I just sold so hard. And he's gonna sit there and dance at me. <laughs> Obviously in this small room, the Joydog paired with these glasses lets me sit however I want. So Joydog opens pretty much every possibility for comfort and you don't have to deal with like bad limited posture. Okay, this is the game I'm feeling. Okay, so we can go pick this guy off real quick. Oh, the aim is just so good. And I've already been gaming for a couple hours and they're actually really comfortable. Like, obviously I know they're on my face, but it's not like uncomfortable. Like, no part of my ears or face is irritated. They have like these crazy adjustments and cushion nose pads and all this fancy stuff to make them light and like ergonomic. They say there's nine level adjustment of mirror legs and air cushion nose pads for comprehensive face shape adaptation. Like I said, a bunch of fancy stuff. I mean, if these interest you at all, I definitely suggest checking these ones out. Bro, these Nintendo Switch sweats in their grapplers, like holy, cracked him though. No way, he got out of that, come on. Oh, I choked the at it. Oh, let's go, bro, that deserves an Evo on, wow. Wow, let's go. Yeah, nice. Oh, he just uncrouched. Dead, let's go. Bro, it's a 1v1. This guy looks like such a sweat. Please, bro. I need this win. Dude, this is. Oh my god. What? Bro, how does that happen? The gaming experience is actually really cool in general, but it's especially impressive in a small space like this. Like, the amount of immersion I felt was insane. I literally can't play another one. I really wanted to get the win, but you know how Fortnite goes. So again, make sure to go check out the Rainio Air 2s. Highly recommend them. They're actually really cool. Make sure to subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.